I've got the ICC CEO Jeff Allardyce next to me. Uh, Jeff, firstly, very warm welcome to Pakistan. It's great to have you here. Um, England touring Pakistan after 17 years. We also had Australia over, um, you know, a couple of months back after 24 years. It's a huge occasion for Pakistan cricket. What do you think is the significance of these tours for the ICC? Well, I think Pakistan is one of the strongest cricketing countries in the ICC's membership. And to see series like this taking place and you know, fans travelling to Pakistan, um, New Zealand starting in a few days' time with their test series as well, I think it's a huge step forward in terms of uh, getting, getting uh, cricket back in Pakistan on a regular basis. I know it's been a short trip for you rather, but what's your experience been like, you know, coming and watching a, cr ma a cricket match in Pakistan? Because we've had so many fans come over, travel from different countries. Of course, Bami Army is here as well and uh, a fairly decent crowd in, in Pindi. So overall thoughts? Oh, I think the, the, the fans in, in Pakistan are passionate about the game, passionate about their team. Uh, but, but most importantly, they're welcoming of visitors and, and I've always had great experiences when I've travelled to Pakistan and I've been to see a few series over the past few years and it's, uh, they're always, the, the welcome is always very warm. You're talking about getting a warm welcome. Well, I can tell you that the Pindi crowd gave an amazing welcome to the English cricket team. I mean, we had some, I think by the end of it, we had a full house uh, on day four. Um, but overall, when you look at test cricket as a format, the crowds have been rather sporadic around the world. What do you think ICC is doing to sort of save Test cricket and make it more um, better viewing? Yeah, I think the, the, this series in particular has been very entertaining in the way the cricket's been played. And even though uh, you know, England is ahead in the series, I think the, it's been very competitive. And the, more importantly, the entertaining style of play of both teams has really put on a great spectacle. Um, in terms of the, the meaning of Test cricket, I think the, the World Test Championship being established, we're now in our second cycle, I think that, is, that adds a lot of uh, uh, context to each of the series that's being played. And as we approach the end of the second cycle, uh, and, and the spots in the final are still to be final or to be determined, um, I think the, the cricketing countries, the test playing countries in particular, are very keen to see the World Test Championship thrive in, in the next edition and beyond. I know there have been so many opinions with regards to that, you know, there have been different conjectures that maybe it should be shortened to a four-day game instead of a proper five-day game and uh, different opinions thrown around the world with regards to that. The purists obviously have their say. Are you a taker of those thoughts or are you one of those purists who would like to stick to the original format? Well, I think the, the beauty of cricket and, and test cricket in particular is that it's celebrated in different ways across all of our cricketing countries. And the, you know, the pitch conditions are different, the weather's different, the style of play is different. And from that point of view, you know, there's no one size fits all. And sometimes you get matches that, that are over quickly and other times you get matches that go deep into the fifth day. And I think that's one of the beauties of the game. So I, I'm quite happy with the way it is at the moment. All right. Well, we're also happy because we're getting some great results. You know, England has won 2-0. They're uh, perhaps looking at a whitewash against Pakistan. Um, in terms of women's cricket, you know, that's one area where ICC has really sort of worked upon and they're looking to improve it and give it more exposure around the world. Even in Pakistan, there's been a significant improvement when you look at coverage-wise and just in terms of uh, getting the women all the exposure in the world. What is ICC doing in that regard to just sort of safeguard the interests of women's cricket? Well, I think if you go back to 2014 when we established the ICC Women's Championship, I think that was a really good step forward in terms of providing regular fixtures for all of the, 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 the full members as they were at that stage. And if you get uh, more regular cricket, then the standard improves. And the other thing we've done is really put a much higher focus on the delivery of our events and the, and the standard of delivery, whether it's the broadcast coverage, uh, you know, the, the, the uh, venues used. I think the, the profile of their major women's events in the World Cups has really drawn attention to the, the women's game in all countries. And to see the, uh, the improvement in countries such as Pakistan and Bangladesh has been really encouraging. And the next step is the establishment of the women's under-19 T20 World Cup in January, with the first edition being in January in South Africa. And I think that provides a pathway for, for young girls to pursue cricket as a, you know, something which will give them the opportunity to play all over the world. Yeah, it's a fantastic initiative when you look at development and sort of working in that particular area. 
Um, lastly, the one area that we saw in the T20 World Cup was we loved the Associated Nations. The Associated Nations playing so well. Uh, we saw Ireland, you know, they beat England. And then that match of South Africa versus Netherlands as well. It was just fantastic to watch. Uh, there's been so much focus on, on Associate Nations and making the game much more global. Uh, what is the ICC doing to promote cricket within these regions? Yeah, I think one of the one of the decisions we took about four or five years ago was to really focus on the T20 format as the format to help grow the game in our developing countries. And trying to play a T20 World Cup every two years is one of those opportunities. And also the qualification process for our associate members to make that the, bit, the World Cup's more accessible. So if you have a, if a, if a team has a good uh, qualifying tournament, they could be two steps away from playing in a World Cup. And we're expanding the T20 World Cup from the 16 teams that we saw in Australia just recently to 20 teams in the next edition in 2024 for the men's events. And part of that is the competitiveness of the teams is going to allow that expansion because, as you rightly point out, in Australia, we didn't, uh, you know, there were times we didn't know who was going to win a particular game as you're driving to the ground. And that, that uh, capacity for an upset, I think, is something that is for, uh, uh, stands us in a very good stead for the expansion of the game moving forward. Well, things are looking great, for sure. I mean, going by the World Cup, at least, it was a wonderful World Cup. Everybody really enjoyed it. But I'd just like to thank you for your thoughts and, of course, for coming to Pakistan and watching a game of cricket. I'm sure it's been, it's been great for you so far. Thank you very much. I've enjoyed it. It looks like another week it's just fell. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much.